All right, guys, you are on Rage TV, and this is the winner bracket first round. That's right, game one, and this is Ragey Poo bringing it to you here, the Invitational, and I'm joined by the host, none other than Nightmare himself. Nightmare, do you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the finals, or semifinals. Uh, this is the semifinals. Did I say finals? finals? I should know this. <laughs> Did, did I say finals, or...? <laughs> nah, I did. Oh, okay, okay. Look up. I'm no biggie. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, let's just, uh... Sexy Sauce is saying, this is for you, Lo YOLO. So that means he's got some cheese coming, I like it. Bottom <laughs> left-hand side, it's gonna be Gurpums with not a glass cannon. Top left-hand side, it's gonna be Sexy Sauce with Bane. You wanna announce the right side for me? And on the top right side, we're going to have Tryhard's Mastermind with Zephyril. And on the bottom right side, we have Ice with Artie, or I Rape Your Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I like the name. Uh, <laughs> so looking at the units coming out, it looks like bottom left, Gurpums is going with really early three Reapers. Uh, Bane deciding to go with Tastar, which as we saw last game is very strong. Early Duskwing for Ice and a Ghost. Uh, as he was saying, Ghost can be really good early feed. A uh, single um, Reaper coming out for top right with Corruptor. And look at Ice being so dirty with that Duskwing early. I like it. Sexy Sauce coming around the back side, though. And I know exactly what he's saying when he said this is for you. He's going Ling Rain. <laughs> Just, for Just for me. Just for me. He's not going to win that engagement, though. Rain's super suck. <laughs> they do. Especially against those dust wings. They're just not as strong as they used to be. It's so sad. <laughs> uh, and thank you for muting the microphone in between. It's There's just a little background music. I get it. So I appreciate it. You don't have to do that. But it does help. Oh, there's yelling. I don't want no bad words. <laughs> oh. <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool, sometimes you got the bros, you know, over and gotta do what you gotta do. Ice asking for a pause. Game paused. I guess he was saying it was spiking a little bit. Hopefully no one is, is watching the stream or anything like that. Um You know, I'm not I'm not uploading anything, so that's good. I don't think it was me, but if I get the screen, I'll just drop out. No. Of course. I need a commentator. I'm you to it, sir. <laughs> I, really, I really can't do <laughs> another two hours. I'm I'm going to friggin' die, dude. <laughs> <laughs> die for Marina right now. They're talking a little bit much. They're going to get dropped. Alright, there we go. Please don't drop, sir. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. You should see my last games. I cannot move at all again. <sighs> so, we'll see. Hopefully it's better. At least when I'm observing, it's not lagging as much. Hello. Hey. How's it going, Tim? Pretty good. Is uh, everything sounding better now? Everything is perfect. So we're good. In-game volume should be good. Audio levels are go. And ice being so frisky with these dust wings, I like it. And Bane's Tassadar goes down. Mm. Pick up by your pumps. Those Reapers. So strong. <clears throat> Mastermind trying to come in to do some damage. Oh, Ooh, to the Duskwing. Good. Down one of them goes. Nice pickup from Not a Glass Cannon. And Ice must be going, oops. <laughs> 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 He's probably like, I meant to do it. Whatever. He's wanting to make it fair. Oh, yeah. A little disadvantage, right? Yeah. 
So what do you guys think of Sexy's build? I haven't seen any elites or heroes, and he's just plus one armor on his lings. Um, he's going lingering, and it's it's so difficult to pull off. He's going after another glass cannon. He's not really going to do a whole lot of damage, I don't feel. And, uh, yeah, he's... Okay, the way you have to play Ling Rain is you need a mass, and you have to absolutely overwhelm the the players. Yeah, he's saying Rain is so bad. Um, there's a very particular style you have to play Rain. If you lose any of them early, you're done. And yeah. he's... You're not raging. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> you know, Sassin has had good. Uh, he's he does well with his lingering too. And uh, so I'm not just the only one that's really good with Marines. I mean, I do play them a lot, but Sassin does pretty well too. It's just the some of the blinks might be a little questionable sometimes, but. Uh, yeah, I no. think you definitely have to mass early and then do a lot of cost-efficient trades oh, yeah. to make it work early. Yeah, because the lings themselves will not do damage. Um, in fact, I stopped using lings, and I started using zealots. Because um, they're just stronger. Temples are just better. Um, and it's also a lot easier to control with your army. Yeah. They don't run out as in front as much. True, yeah, they hug your army a little bit, but with with Stim, it's not so bad. And really, Sexy Sus just has to say, he's got 300. He's got to get a, uh, a Medibabe and not engage Ravens. Oh, no. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> he's so screwed. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's... Got a nice flashbang come down to mid. He's fine. Ouchy, ouch. And Gurpalms, okay, he has two attack. This is really interesting. Um, I wonder if he's going to go warps. Because he's got two attack zealots. And that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But I would love to see some warp play. Oh, if he goes warps, I'm just going to be tickled. Just does the old mass up till 20 and just sends everything to mid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Ice losing a Duskwing right there. Double that's, Corruptor coming out from Esterman. That's two Duskwings already, and his feed's alright, but it's not that, that far ahead to, to lose two Duskwings this early. No, it's not. And that is going to put him behind. Uh, Artie is a little bit behind too, but maybe once the Lancers will come out, uh, a little bit of base upgrades, it's going to do a lot better. His his micro is very good, or her. I, don't I have no idea. What is it, Nightmare? Is it him, her? I. What was that? I'm sorry. Artie. Artium. Him, her, I... Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Pretty sure it's a guy. Pretty sure he's a little geeky. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, you know, no offense. I just sometimes the trolling is so strong that I, I can never tell. Nice force field. Um, didn't have enough energy for another one. <clears throat> Could have trapped a lot of units. And oh my god, my throat is killing from that last game. I was screaming hard. Hope I didn't annoy anybody. Oh, I was watching. That was a pretty crazy game. I'm going to have to request some songs from you because I heard a lot of rumors that you were singing for us. <laughs> <laughs> I got none of that. What does the fox say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was singing. Like, well, it was two hours. It's like, what else are you going to do? So... And uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, man, the mouse is being funky. Um, I'm gonna switch to a player cam. Let's see, what player is the most active? Let's 
go with Mastermind, why not? And I'm just going to check in with my chat, see how we sound. So Ice is coming up with another dust moon. This other one's already low on health too. Oh man. Yeah. Nice seeker missile. Putting a lot of damage on Ice's, Ice's army. Ghost. Ice is losing a lot of his elites. He is. Which is strange because, you know, usually his control is just so good. Well, he's saying he's lagging too. Maybe that has something to do with it. It's got to be. There has to be an excuse for us. <laughs> Ten minute mark, and let's see if Bane is deciding to level up the Tastar. No, actually, going with very strong Marader. Could even see some uh, Merc upgrades. Yeah, it's full. He's got full Merc upgrades on his Marauders, and if he can hold mid, the splash damage is going to be really good. And Bane's actually, yeah, he's in first. Really nice opener. I like that he's kind of using the Tassadar a little bit more for force fields. Um, with just some light storms. Sexy's finally starting to get a mass up, but yep. he's got no damage on his marines yet. Now, at this point, he's got to let those lings get in front, so he's got to do a little backup. There he goes. Very nice. That's what that's what I like to see. But he really needs that medivac. Yeah, it would help his army so much if he had that medivac right now. Oh, nightmare! I gotta go. Uh, see you, nightmare. Okay. All right, guys. Later. Later, bed. That super saw. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at Sexy's army right now, like, everything's in the half health, and if he had that medevac, it would just help so much. I mean, it's the same price, cheaper than the support tower, even. And, uh, Rage, you really quick, I'm gonna leave the call, too, so just, uh, call me back. I'll be watching on the stream. No! Okay. We'll see you, <laughs> All right. Now that he's gone, I can say what a... Oh, never mind. Back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, Bane doing pretty good. I like that the storms are kind of just to shoot people away. I wouldn't engage the Duskwings directly like this. Um, just kind of staying right where he's at so when people try coming up the ramp, he can yeah, trap. His, his army's so small, but he's got such good map control in mid with just that Templar. Mm -hmm. And this is where, actually, Sexy's going to shine. If he had the Medibabe, oh my god, he's got to stop attacking Zephyrl. That was a good surround on that. Oh, wow. Okay, it's time for Ragey Poos. Good idea? Bad idea. Good idea. Going, Ling Rains. You can do it. Anybody can do it. Bad idea. Get the crap away from Ravens. They're going to wreck you. Not a good idea. If anything, he should be engaging bottom left because you know why? The, his Ling Reen actually does really good against Mortal. And he could be feeding on Not a Glass Cannon too. Well, here's a question. Do you think he should add a Corruptor to his army at the moment to help with the Ravens? I mean, kind of zone him out a little bit? Um, like Ice was saying, sometimes Ghost is a little bit better, but that would be, I feel, a little bit more for his partner. But he's already got the Tassadar that he's migrating. When you play Ling Reen... Your main focus should be a medibabe. That's it. And then just microing the Ling and Reigns. Because they're very powerful if you do it like that. And oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay, he's got a good surround, so that's good. It's just... Okay. The Ravens used a lot for those auto turrets, so that was a good timing from Sexy. As long as the Ravens don't have energy for, uh, for Seeker Missile, he can engage... But he shouldn't yeah. be up on that ramp. He's got to be a little bit more mobile. He's got to get that many back. Bane is feeding really well in mid. He's just controlling everybody right now. He Everybody's is, but scared it, to push him. As you can see, Artie is actually starting to, to gain a little bit on each engagement. And, uh... You know, part of his money that Bane has has gone into the Tastar just to get it, even though it's level, level 0, that's still 500. 
So if you look at the points, actually, uh, Artie's a little bit ahead at this point. Does... Oh, I don't like this engagement by Sexy. He's going to lose his whole army here he and is. not really gain much. Why, buddy? Oh, man. They are cracklings now, and they do have two armor on them, but it's, uh, I don't know, I think he needed to pick a better engagement than that. Looks like the TAS is gone. I mean, he, reasonably, he did well. If, if he had the Medibabe, though, he would get so much more money, and the cracklings are going to do pretty well against the Immortals, but not against the Void Rays, really. Does Ice know about this? No, he hasn't seen them yet. Oh, that's... he shouldn't reveal them. No, now Ice is going to go Goliath. Yeah, that, that was an interesting choice. I think it was a little early to go Void Race. It's... You kind of want to mass them up in secret, I think, or wait until somebody else picks their Merc before you go. He's still saying that it's spiking like crazy. Saying that there's a lot of lag, I don't think it is us. No, I I just double checked my my internet and it's completely fine. And I mean, I, I'm experiencing the lag spikes as well with everybody else, but I don't think it's my end. If it if it doesn't go away, I can definitely leave. If if they think it'll fix the problem, I don't want to ruin a tournament match. But I I really don't think it's me. Ice is too used to being a ref. <laughs> it's just unpausing. Whatever. It's invitational. Okay. I I would prefer if you didn't leave just because I know that my voice is going to crap out. <laughs> if I'm left alone, <clears throat> having an extra commentator helps. So thank you for joining. Uh, this is your first time, so you know, yes, I hope, hope it's fun. Oh, glass cannon! Turn around, do some damage. There you go. Yeah, he can. He can definitely put on a lot of damage to the Marine Ling army right now. He's just got to watch out for the Marauders. That splash damage can eat through the voids really quickly. So, the voids. The first thing he's, he really wants to focus on is getting the base upgrades from the Merc compound. Yeah, he does have the speed. There we go. You know, they're so important to have all of them. And he has to make sure he doesn't engage by himself. Um, he is going to do a little bit of extra damage to the Lancers, but... So I just went with Immortals instead of Goliaths. I, that's kind of an interesting choice. Huh. Might, might be going with something that doesn't require a lot of speed. Speed. He does have that ghost. Huh. Maybe BCs. He lost the dust wings. So far he's lost four dust wings. And I mean he could be lagging for sure, but uh I, I wanna say he lost a ghost as well, because I'm certain his ghost first ghost had over twenty kills, so I think he lost a ghost as well. And Sexus is going to win a lot of engagements with Cracklings because they do uh, they do extra damage to Lancers. I'm pretty sure. Let me see what these Cracklings do. Psionic structure? Oh. Okay. Well. Hmm. I thought for sure they did pretty good. They, they actually do do decently against Lancers. Uh, I thought so. It... When you get that critical mass of Lancers, though, they, they can tear through them with the, with the splash damage alone, though. It's kind of like a high Desi count against them as well. In low low numbers, Desis don't do well against Cracklings, but in larger numbers, they actually 
fare pretty decently. And I reap was blinking up the middle. Ooh, glass cannon. He's going to be able to pick off that task. No, he backed out. Oh, what a waste. Yeah, he's going to gonna have to keep that High Templar in the back for a minute. Because he knows that Zeph wants to go for it, I think. Sexy Sauce could get all of these immortals. He is going against the voids, and he doesn't have any upgrades. He, yeah, he should back out. Nice recovery from Grapum, staying right there on the ramp. Oh, missed micro by glass. He lost a few too many voids there, I think. He should have backed up a little bit earlier. Looks like Zephyr actually getting the kill on the uh, Tastar. I love the point defense drones right there, but they're not going to do anything against the cracklings. <laughs> no. Oh, nice seeker missile, though. Definitely helped that fight a lot. And I think that's one thing to, to point out with Ravens. It's really important to save up for a Hunter Seeker missile before you engage. Definitely. What I'm kind of noticing, too, is it looks like Sexy Sauce is... Uh, he's kind of moving his lings with the Marines. And... Uh, he's losing out a little bit on attacks here and there. Yeah, I, I tend to agree there, and... It, if you look at his hotkeys, he, he doesn't have his Ling set up to a separate hotkey. He, he has his entire army set to two hotkeys, and I, I think that would definitely help him in his engagements. Yeah, if at least he set up just the Marines in the hotkeys, that that would be much better. Um, having the entire army, that's, that's not good. Um, for those of you at home, if you're ever playing you know, Ling green or if you're playing with uh, like see he's losing out on so much attack um you always want to a move with the marines and just kind of let the cracklings go um and micro the marines as much as possible that way you can maximize the damage if you're moving and trying to stutter stutter step with the marines but you have your cracklings or your te you know zealots or whatever you have in front of you um with the same key you're losing out on attacks and they're just gonna die I mean, you don't have to have them on separate keys, but it does help if, you know, you... If you do have to have hotkeys, do it just for the Marines. Yeah, and, it, and if you're not going to set up separate hotkeys, at, at least pull your links to the front before you head out to mid. Don't just leave... You see how he's got them all in the mid, and he's just, you know, moving back and forth? Be, be nice to have the links out a little bit in front. Yeah, it's actually not super necessary. Um, because the lings are fast, so they'll kind of wrap around anyway. But as long as he micros the marines, if the lings start getting low, he just has to back up a little bit. That way the lings will kind of run in front. Or you can even press the S button. It stops the marines, and it just kind of allows the lings to go forward. And then... Uh, Sexy's going for mid against the immortals, and that'll be a good trade for him. Ice really needs to get out of there. Ice is losing a big portion of his army right now to those cracklings. And that was nice. Sexy backed up. Did a lot of damage. Panda Boss saying I selected a Zergling, not a Crackling. I don't know what he's referencing. Ugh. A little bit tired from doing the castings. We've been going since 10 o'clock this morning. Uh so many long games that I put in 10 hours of work today I can imagine casting that long <laughs> uh, you know it's fine with a co-commentator I mean it's I don't mind it because you know with a co-commentator you can take breaks yeah it's a lot easier and in your voice I think Mastermind needs to mass up a little bit before taking on that immortal army he's trading somewhat efficiently but the supply is just so low all the time. Yeah, and if we look at the points tab, uh, Artie is really starting to come ahead. Despite losing the army, um, seven attack ups. I think there's like one or two hit point upgrades. He does have the double raven. 
And I can't believe that Sexy Sauce is actually pulled out from nowhere. He hasn't upgraded the Marines yet. There's... It does have five extra hit points, but that's probably just uh, crackling hit point upgrades. That kind of makes you wonder if, if he might later be wanting to transition to Reavers or something. He's got a lot of armor on those cracklings, and his Marines, he's got one health upgrade on him. But I think that's, yeah, that's Ling health that he's getting, so two Ling health upgrades. I would almost say stay with the cracklings. Um, they're going to do really well against the Immortals. In fact, I would even start tacking up the Marine attack. Might as well. He could do a lot of damage. Yeah, I think that's definitely a good option. Uh, Reavers would be a terrible option with, with what's on the field. The Voids. Uh, yeah, and the Immortals. The voids, two sets of Immortals. You just won't trade well with Reavers there. No, but with the Cracklings, he's going to do well really against everything. That's I mean, he's doing great, I feel, against everything except for the Voids. And that's where the Marines are going to have to come into play. Because Reams actually do fairly well against Voids as time goes on. Yeah, Certainly once you get really to good. start getting around the 20, 25, 30 damage with Reams, they just start tearing through Voids. There's really nothing you can do once they get to that point. And not a glass cannon is a little bit behind. Yeah, he, he's got a, a really large mass of Voids. He's just you know, finding hard hard times to engage. You, you know, you gotta go with your partner and pick off sides of the army. You can't ever engage a full army straight up with Void Rays. Ooh, this might not be good for Sexy Sauce. Okay, so there isn't enough energy for a Seeker. Uh, he's got it now, though. Ooh, and the Voids are coming in. Great opportunity. Could see a save, though. No. No, that was risky. And there he goes going after uh, the Immortals, which he could totally win if the Voids weren't there. Double Seeker Missiles coming out from Artie. Nice. And a little Medi Babe with those Voids. I like it. I dig it. Yeah, I, I think Sexy and Bane would do a lot better if, if Bane went toward the mid and engaged on the low ground where the Immortals will clump up and uh, Sexy can just run up the ramp with his cracklings. Oh, nice, nice pickoff. Could get another Raven, nope. In fact, lost a lot of Lancers there. Nice response from Artie. I think Artie came out ahead on that. Yeah, he, he definitely did. Oh, needs to heal! Oh, nice snipe! But, <laughs> whoa! So much damage on those voids, and wow, just lost a really big supply there. Artie is so happy right now. Yeah. Mastermind has some really good positioning over there. He just took out a large chunk of Ice's Immortals just by playing the better Concave. Good micro from Grapums with those shields. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> and then he uses all of them and <laughs> makes you wonder what he's doing. Oh, but he's losing so many Immortals right now. Cracklings, man. Just tear right through them. Yeah, and they're coming the to push off the there. voids. That's what they should be doing the whole time. Bane should be engaging nice the voids. Surround. Nice surround. Go in there. Go in there, Bane. Oh, no. You're moving too much. Mastermind didn't do too bad on that. Yeah, he got a lot of marines and a large chunk of the, the cracklings, too, but at the cost of, I mean, his entire army. Oh. Leprechaun. <laughs> if uh, if you guys are wondering at home, I guess Leprechaun was uh, was banned from Battle.net, and uh, so his name is no longer here. I don't know that story. You may have to refresh me on that story. Um, I don't know all the details. Uh, apparently, there was uh, some I don't know if it was map hacks or what, but it was supposedly. You know, I don't know if it's true. But it was found out by Blizzard. He was banned. Um, and he was a Marine Arena player? Yeah, yeah. I guess he kind of played in my downtime. Yeah, uh, if you want to kind of tell the audience a little bit about yourself, I'm not, not sure if they know who you are. But, uh, well, I used to play under the alias PTG. Uh, 
I played in quite a few scrims uh, right around the time the Royal Clan was first coming along. Okay. I played uh, against those guys and had a decent record. I never played in any tournaments because, honestly, everybody I wanted to partner with, uh, mainly the Rapists and Whirlwind, they were always kind of had other people they were partying with, so uh. never really did tournaments. But I, I tried to keep up with this even, even when I went inactive due to work. So, well, cool. Welcome back. So, if anybody you know happens to know you, give it a little shout out. <laughs> Ice going with Corruptor to deal with the voids. Yeah, and they they actually trade pretty well. I mean, <laughs> for being two units, it you know they can do a lot of damage on the voids, especially with corruption. It looks like Bane and Sexy are massing up a bit before they, they push mid. They're just kind of hanging back at the moment. Oh. I think they... Victor was they should def wow. I think they should definitely work bottom left when they, when they decide to push out. They just have to get their engagement right. Bane on the voids and Sexy on the immortals. Oh, and that's a big blink by Rape over there. So Thursday coming in with a little bit of results from bracket one. I guess the bracket is over. And let's just pull up his little chat here again. Where was it? I didn't close it. Oh, it's not showing as a chat. That's lame. Okay. Well, you guys will be able to see the uh, the brackets and who won and who lost. Um, should be updated on the website, and I'll also put up a screen. Oh, Sexy's coming in for a big flank, but his marines are nowhere to be seen. Oh, he's he's going for the void compound. They might save here. I think they should definitely save. Uh, wow, he barely saved it. Wow, thirty-five health on the void compound. Does he have a? Oh, he doesn't have a support tower. No, he should definitely just send a few lings in for it right now. I mean, he's not even blocking with the immortals. He could easily get in there and snipe that. I don't know. Voids might kill off everything before you can get in. It's so low, though. Oh, my God. He could drop. One drop would do it. How much money does he have? Oh, he doesn't have enough to, uh, to start. And what he could do is go... Oh, yeah, he's totally doing it. Going around the back end. There he goes. Oh, uh, I don't no. know about taking the tower. I think just going for it was a better choice. Yeah, because that's so much money. And he was totally exposed. Yeah. Uh. He is getting a support tower now, and he, he's healing it, so... It, it's going to be safe here in another minute or two. No, he actually got a, an anti-unit tower. Oh, did he? That, surely that was a misclick, right? Um, I, well, anti-unit's pretty good, but... Uh, I mean, he, he's got the medi back there, trying to heal it. Uh, I think I would go with what you were saying, though, and, and heal it up. It's a really important structure. Yeah, and I, I think Sexy really missed out on an opportunity there. I mean, it it's almost gone and passed now. I mean, he can't really go for it anymore. I think he could. If he just went along around the back end, there he goes. Yeah, he does have six attack on the cracklings. We'll see. It It's going to be close. He's going. He's going for it. And Glass is slow to respond, and he doesn't even see it. And, yeah, he's, he's going to get out. Oh, no! Oh. Anti-unit nice for force, force field. field. Very nice. I guess that was a good choice. I always forget how big the force fields Wait, are. it's getting can... hurt. Oh, no, he, he was able to clear everything out. And really, it's nice. like, if he had the money, just getting a support tower. It's good for Marines, anyway. Now, uh, Jerpums, can his support tower heal that far? He doesn't have a support tower. He's got well, a I'm tower. saying if he got one, he's definitely got the money. He's got 1,100. Nah. Nope, it's too far. He could heal, like, the anti-unit tower. All the way tower, to the tower, the yeah. Command. I didn't think it went that far. Uh, that'd be too far. That'd be so OP if you could. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it really only leaves two structures that you can't hit. Your opponent's Merc compound and his turret.
So if we look at the score right now, Bane and Mastermind are, are doing pretty well as or Bane and Sexy are doing pretty well. So are Mastermind and Zeph. Glass Center Plums are falling a little bit behind. I I feel like the voids are it's gonna be hard to feed with them really. Yeah. And Sexy still hasn't started any marine upgrades. I'm kind of curious to see how he's going to play this out, how long he's going to stay on his crackling upgrades. I mean, right now, I guess it's a good choice because they, they trade well with a lot of units on the field right now. And like Ice, he got punished for going to mid. You just, with cracklings on the field, you, you can't push your mortals too far out there. No, no, you can't. Just kind of like Derp Pums is, you know, he's playing his choke pretty well. He he knows that if he pushes too far, the cracklings will come in and deal devastating amounts of damage to his army. And you know, <laughs> it's what's funny is that uh, while Sex Office is not really putting a whole lot of importance on the Stargate. Just the fact that it's low, it's making not a glass cannon kind of chill at base. Yeah, because if he goes too far out, I mean, just a small group of cracklings, you know, if you don't see them in time to get that force field off, it, it can be gone. Cracklings definitely are good against structures. <laughs> oh, seeker missile from the right side. And wow, those voids actually tearing through the Marauders, which is surprising. Well, the Marauders do only have. Six attack ups. He's six on his marines as well. I, I, I don't like the early splitting of your upgrades personally, uh, unless you're going to go uh, marine heavy with cracklings or some kind of tanky unit. I, I don't like it with marauders as much. So just getting a little bit of word in from Thursday. It looks like Thursday and all day will be moving towards the finals. A close uh, second was Grim and Mins. And See, as we were just talking about, Japones lost about half of his immortals because he, he went too close to that center and the cracklings punished him. But Glass Cannon is getting a lot of feed off the leftover units there. So it kind of evens out a little bit. Sexy Sauce is starting to fall back a little bit. So in case you guys missed that, Thursday and all day will be moving on to the loser bracket finals where they have a chance to get into the grand finals if they get first place. Who all was in uh, their match earlier? Oh, uh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Your pumps did have some decent micro on his immortals there I, it's so important to, to only use that defensive matrix on the units that are actually getting hit you know I, it, it pains me every time I see somebody just light up every one of their immortals with a defense matrix but he did a really good job of only allowing the ones getting hit using the defense matrix and that's exactly how you use it Seeker missile. Good split though. Only got a few. And he does have both of the elite upgrades on his Ravens already, so that that, that makes him a lot better. I see. Rape has them as well. So everybody has those new uh I don't know how long have those. Um, how long has that update been around with the uh, lead upgrades? Uh, well, lead upgrades. The the, the mid tower where oh, you the, uh, the lead upgrades. It's been yeah. it's been around for maybe a couple weeks. 
close to a month. I'm going to actually switch it to the RD cam, which is kind of interesting because he zooms in and out. Um, but I'll be right back. Already? I'm going to shut the door real quick because there's a little bit of background noise. So already got some really good seeker missiles there, and uh, the voids are. Uh, this is a very bad engagement for the void rays. They're gonna have to back off. They they can't fight that army. And how he's just poking in and out. That that's good. But every void he loses is a lot of power to his army that's gone. And he's he's got a lot of them really low. And you guys can't see it right now, but Sexy Sauce is just absolutely destroying top right with his cracklings. He's he's done a ton of damage, and he's probably about to force a save here. He's had a little miss micro on his lings. He almost got the Merc compound of top right, but he, he didn't quite get it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the arty cam. And we are back. Let's take a look. Welcome so back. Real quick. Wow, Artie's doing really well for himself. Or it, whatever. Artie. Doing very good. Yeah, while you were gone, Artie got a decent chunk of the void rays. Uh, I'd say probably eight or nine voids. And uh, did a lot of damage on the rest of them. He's kind of had to back off for the moment with the meta babe and just let him heal up. And Sexy Sauce almost sniped the, the Merc compound in the top right and did a, did a lot of damage to the army up there, but uh, didn't quite pull it off. So, Stargate's still there, huh? <laughs> still there. The anti-unit tower, I think, was a pretty good choice. Uh, more so than the, the support, just because of those force fields. He's always going to be able to force field just in case. So as long as he catches it... Yeah, and the 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 support tower late game. It, it once sudden death comes around, it kind of loses its uh, usefulness. And sexy sauce is going in here again. Maybe he's trying to force another save, but with those force fields, uh, he, he's not going to get that merc compound. But oh, well, he's getting really close. But support tower <laughs> two op, right? It's going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> And Artie's losing a lot of units over there, engaging both armies by himself. But he did put up some point defense drones and backed off about the right time. But his his mass is is gone. Artie has no mass right now. He is low mass, but he does at least have the uh, the two ravens. So it's going to be good. He can trade energy for units. And a big engagement going into bid, but I think Bade's just going to lose everything here if he stays. Ouch. It's going to be a nice engagement for Kapums and for not Glass Cannon. Yeah, I mean, Glass traded shields for, for units, and <laughs> that's always going to favor you. Double Seeker! Oh, <laughs> devastating <laughs> nice. damage. Nice damage. Very, very nice. And you can you can see what Sexy's idea is. You know, he, he wants to mass up and he wants to push somewhere, rinse and repeat. You know, and he's when he does it, he's he's trading armies pretty efficiently. But I feel like he's killing off a lot of his marines now, and I, I guess that's kind of the right decision. But he is starting his marine upgrades, and I'm glad to finally see that. <laughs>
Because I don't know from your personal experience, but when I play Cracklings, it seems like the later the game goes on, they they really start diminishing in value. They're good at, at sniping things and getting around the map quickly, but... Well, you have to kind of... You definitely of, need some uh, beef to your army behind it. You do, and, you know, there's a timing where you have to kill some bases, and... Unfortunately, he didn't get a whole lot of base kills. He could get top right instead of going for top or bottom left, and that would probably be favorable. Try to force a few saves, and if he can, those buildings are going to be wide open. Um, yeah, and I if think you look at Brian oop. going out in the middle though by himself is wrong. Yeah, he he's done that two or three times now, and he's he's just giving away all the supply for nothing. But as you're pointing out, top right, all they have is a support tower. They don't have the force field like like bottom left did, so right. they're not going to be able to save it without using a savior. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the Cracklings are going to do pretty well against Lancers, so really yeah, the only scary threat is Zephyrl's Raven, so if you can just get a timing where there's no energy... Yeah, the, the one thing I have noticed about Sexy is he is definitely right-clicking. Last time he attacked the bottom left and went for the Immortals uh, compound, he just went straight for the building. And if, if you know he's doing that, you can just surround your building and hold position, and all the, all the lings will just run around crazy doing nothing. So he's, he's got to be careful about that and make sure if, if hold position is used, he, he definitely starts attacking the units because you're... Your cracklings can melt away really quickly that way. It's going to be a lot of engagements going on. Uh, with top right, Brian might want to back out. This would be a good opportunity for Sexy Sauce to come in, though. And... The thing is, though, is yeah, he's he going to do it. All he's, of it. I, I think he should definitely peel off part of that army and not send it in. Oh, the cybernetics core. There's one save. There, there's yes, one save down. And the Templar, uh, it got pretty low too. He did a lot of damage to both Merc compounds, and I think he's going to try to force another save here. Uh, he should just go straight for the compound. Yeah, there he goes. Definitely should. Oh, that was a good hunter seeker, but that cyber core is going to be gone. Oh, he mismicroed it. He had it, but he mismicroed it. He did force a save, but he lost his entire army from it. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, the good thing about it is that the lings regenerate very, very fast, so he can do it again. But. Yeah, they, they definitely spawn. They're one of the fastest units spawning. Behind maybe only tanklings, I think. Tanklings spawn insanely fast. But, but he had it. I think there was. I think I looked and there was 35 health with about 8 or 9 cracklings still around there and he, he I think he clicked on a stalker on accident and they all Ooh, went for one stalker anti-unit <laughs> oh man and I think that's that might be the right the right choice at that point um, the anti-unit tower However, I, I don't think his force fields can definitely zone off from the cyber core, but they can't block the cyber core completely. The force field. All right. So looking at the score, Hardy's still doing very good for himself. Her. Artie. Artie's doing very good. Uh, Zephyrl's not doing that bad either. Picking off the uh, the units from that save. Very nice. Yeah, and he still has his two Ravens around with 120 and 140 kills. Uh, it looks like Artie at some point has, has lost a Raven or two. I, I looked earlier and he had 70 kills on one, and neither of them have that now, so... That's seeker a missile. decent seeker missile. Mastermind should probably just back up now and wait for his shields to regen. 
Ooh, sexy sauce. Taking a seeker missile to the face, losing a lot of uh, marines there. And Brian coming back with the retort, and got it. It's doing a lot of damage. And Seth up there in the the top right is trading really efficiently with small groups of stalkers and those marauders. They just eat the marauders alive. I do think if he, he threw down a point defense drone there, he Bane just couldn't engage him at all there. Well, I'm not sure if he had the energy for it, but maybe. he threw down four auto turrets, oh, maybe five. Yeah, uh, double seeker, but oh, they weren't uh, they weren't very good. That was a de decent pull off by Bane. It looked like he. He manually peeled that, that one Marader off to the side, so that, that was really nice. And Mastermind's pushing in the middle, but that's a lot of Immortals there. I, I don't know if that's a good fight. Oh, Pum should win that. No, He's actually backs out. Glass has got to back out, too. I guess he's scared, the scared of ice pushing, mm -hmm. yeah. He's a micro with the Immortal. That's nice to see, but... I feel like Glass Cannon is... is a little timid. He's kind of all over the place, not really attacking either bottom right or top right in these engagements. And that's gonna—I think that's oh, gonna that hurt. was good. Seeker missiles on the yeah. the voids. It, it didn't quite get all of them, but they're all low health. <laughs> Look at this. He's gonna lose it again. <laughs> and now he goes after your pubs. Uh I don't know. He might be able to push him back. He's going to do damage to the Immortals for sure, but as soon as these voids come in, oh... Yeah. And if you've noticed, already started finally upgrading his Marines. They've, they've got 100 health already. And he's at... What is that? 4 attack. Nothing too spectacular. But you can tell he's, he's definitely starting to think about that late game and how good Marines can be. Well, we are at the 50-minute mark. And I guess that's a little bit of late game, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's preparing, which is great. You know. I mean, when you compare it to the, to the last game you just cast it, I, maybe it's mid-game. <laughs> oh, looks like an Overseer coming out from Ice. And uh, you know what's sad? It's that Ice usually plays air so much, and I would have liked to see it this game. Yeah, I, I, I've seen him have some really sick games with Mutas. He, his control and his splits are, are just some of the best in the game. He's so good with the point defense drone, and then he picks off, you know, like like your little missile turret. What what I feel like Ice's greatest strength is is not necessarily his control because his control is great, but it's the mind games. He gets under your skin, he ticks you off, and you just wonder how is he doing it? What do I do to respond? And I think that's sometimes a more valuable asset than just having strong units, because if you can psych your opponent out, make him always on the run, you can win the engagements. Yeah, I've lost many a game to him contaminating my turret and just killing my compound over and over and over any time I push toward the middle of the map. <laughs> Very nice uh, <laughs> uh, spam coming from JPXP. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, decent hunter seeker missiles there by Zeph. Takes out a decent portion of Sexy's army, but Sexy's still trading really well with those cracklings. I mean, against the Mercs, he's trading well against everything except the voids. It makes you wonder if, if Sexy hadn't lost that, that first decent mass of Ling Marine that he had, you know, where, where would his score be now? I'm, I'm sure it'd be considerably higher than it is. If he would have got the snipe, the base snipe, I mean, it's still low hit points. If he would have yeah. gotten that, I think he would have been much farther ahead than he is. But unfortunately, yeah. it just didn't work out. He, he, did, he did get the, the cyber core in the top right, and... The uh, the Templar archives is still about a third third health, so he he could think about that later on too and try to force that other save. I still believe that yeah, uh, Mastermind still does have a savior. That would be a good idea because later on in the game, the cracklings are going to be 
scary. And I I mean forcing the save would also reduce the amount of money that they're gonna get at SD. So and it's coming up soon. Yeah. I, I think that's definitely a, a very cost efficient idea and you know they they can that lane is almost always open because Artie and Ice are battling bottom left and top right. They're they're not pushing mid very often. So so that lane from uh, top left to top right is is open anytime he wants to go in there. And some Hunter Seeker missiles coming down, doing pretty decent damage to the Marader force in the middle, but he's just getting sandwiched again. He just keeps pushing the mid, Bane over and over, and he's losing his entire army every time he does. Wow, those voids are so strong, almost 400 hit points. And, ooh, nice call down from Bane. That's interesting. And, <laughs> glass cannon, that's going to hurt him. Uh, if you notice, he doesn't have enough to revive. Yeah. He, he's still got his mass, so, so he can get, get the feed back. Uh, but he, he still has a couple hundred in feed before he can get that back. And, and what do you think about Bane maybe doing the same thing to the Temple Archives in the, the top right? I mean, I it's just as low. I approve. Could and there are the cracklings again, and that's a nice force. surround. That's a nice surround on the Desis. They're all going to die. There we go. He needed to reposition just a little bit, and now, yeah, he, he should get them. Mastermind does reinforce. Nice corruption. And if you move forward just a little bit, Brian could Yeah, have, and they're, uh, they're going to force that last save here. I, I think they have to use it. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Nice just let it go off. down. Very nice, and that's going to bring Sexy Sauce and Bane back into the game. They're still 400 behind Artie, but that was a nice pickoff before SD. Yeah. And, and e even if they didn't get it, like you were saying earlier, the the loss of mineral income they would get by using that save you know, would have made it worth it. Either way, either they get it or they, or they don't get it, or they force a save. So... I almost feel like forcing the save would have just been worth it, because now he just spent 500 repairing the archives, and he could have got, you know, 300-ish. I don't know how much he would have got from killing those units. So... Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sure you can hear that in the background, yeah. So Glass Cannon finally rebuilt his Void Compound, and uh, he's probably going to want to mass up a little bit before he moves back out with the Voids. Oh, seer. Interesting. Okay, so that's going to help with the mobility of the Immortals. Not really going to help the Voids, but... And what do you think about uh, Zev's choice to go up to six armor on his Lancers? Do you think that's a, a little too much? I, I kind of tend to agree. I, yeah. I like maybe two armor at the most on Lancers and then go hit points up to at least eight or nine. Well, the good thing is that with Lancers, they have the shield upgrade, which is great. So if he if he does get hurt, he can pull back. Have It has fast uh, regeneration. So the, sh the shields are nice. Um, but, you know, I feel like hit points just kind of scale. A little bit better. Yeah. As far as survivability. And Sexy went in first round and killed almost all of Japram's immortals, but he lost a lot to the the Void Race too, and Bane tried to drop that compound again and he almost got it. <laughs> it was so close. Clutch heal. I like it. And he healed with the overseer too. No less. That that was cool. I, I think he should Try to try to try to get a little bit more money and try to go for it maybe one more time before sudden death. It's coming. There's only about three minutes left. Two minutes and thirty seconds, starting right now. Yeah, and he he wants to trade right now, but he just stayed on the void side. I, I don't think he should have gone over to the mortals, but yeah, you know, he was drawing the army off for the drop. drop. Not gonna get it though. No. Too strong. 
In situations like that, I'd rather go toward that and, and force all the attention there and then, then back up and then drop. Because well, they're going to almost always chase you on the retreat. They're not going to just let you push into their base for free. Well, what's happening now is that now that like he's spent so much that I feel like Bane could have been a little bit more ahead because he's, he's probably lost on a good you know couple hit point upgrades, some attack upgrades, maybe some armor. Yeah, because he's, he's got one compound, but... But how much has he dropped and how much army has he lost to to try to get that, you know? Yeah, yeah, it cost him, you know, a thousand to rebuild it, but he's he's probably spent more than a thousand to, to get it down, so it's actually not a thousand, it's um it's oh, only, is it eight hundred uh, now? Eight hundred, yeah. Okay. Well I say only eight hundred, I mean <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> rich rich Sheebies. Sheebs? Like I said, what is it called I, I, Sheeby? Sheeb? The dog. What is that for dog coin? Was it called Rich Sheeb? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Yeah, I have no idea how to how to pronounce it. I I'm I'm still unsure on if it's dog or Doge or I, I've heard it pronounced so many different ways. <laughs> I thought it was dog. It was just... See, that's what I thought too because you you look at the picture. But I, I had a friend who you know, knows a little bit more about it than I do. I I suppose a lot more, but. He actually pronounced it Doge because he heard it on a podcast pronounced that way. I feel like it would be spelled different. I mean, yeah, it does have an E, but maybe Doge would be like D O G U E, maybe? I don't know. Like, No, that'd be like Dagui. Dagui. Valor's playing. Or he was. Yeah, I think he's playing. Yeah, he's playing right now. And and if you look at look at the feed now, sexy, he you know he's been sitting at about the same feed for for the last ten minutes. You know his bounty's gone up a few hundred, but nothing like it was earlier. And I, I think he's he's just trying to make too much happen at one time. SD. Yes, we just entered sudden death, and immediately mastermind goes to the middle, trying to get as much income out of it with as few units as he can, and. As long as they let him do it, that that's fine to do. In GPR, I saw that. I'm a better commentator than all. Shush. <laughs> and there goes Bane in the mid again, and with Sexy backing him up, they're they're going to be able to push him out of mid. And I, I like it a lot better when, when Sexy's there with him. You know, when he's going by himself, he's losing armies to flanks in every direction. But with those cracklings there, they can wrap around any, you know, any direction and give him the support he needs to take the mid. Because you always have to, anytime you want to push up that ramp, you have to fear the cracklings wrapping around behind you. Oh my gosh, Bane could lose everything if they push in. Oh, but look, actually, Ice is there. Might scare back or pums. Oh, nice for Glass Cannon, though. He picked off so much of that army. And I'm I'm shocked to see that the Marauders fail against the Voids, because usually their, their uh, splash damage is so great that Voids just totally avoid. Um, ha, ha, ha. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nice pun there. It took me a second, I did, but I, I caught didn't it. Didn't even mean to. I just I heard myself after I said it, and I went, what? It really wasn't a pun. Not intended. But, uh... Yeah, and I think Glass is doing exactly what he needs to do with the Voids, you know, just engaging small sides of the army and, you know, just giving Drapum's support. Yep. Keep it high mass, too. Yes, definitely. And and as a result of that, you can see Drapums is is feeding really well because he knows any time he engages the voids, you know, they don't they don't get clumped up. They don't you know they'll just they go through everything. They fly over it, so he can be there you know from the tower to the other side in a moment's notice to give him that support he needs. It's actually a really surprisingly even game, except for top right. Top right has the most consistency, like they are in first even though Artie does have 21,000 if you look well, no, actually Ice just, just kicked it up a notch 
Um, Mastermind and Zephyrl did have a really good combined score, but now Ice just kicked it up. Yeah, and if you notice the thing about Mastermind and Zeph, their armies are, are always together. Their engagements are always really nice. Sometimes they, they have gotten flanked, and it, it's cost them a little bit, but I think that's why they're they're so even. They're pretty high on the scoreboard, and uh, I think they're just coordinating their attacks and defenses a lot better than everybody else right now. It's going to be a nice engagement for Camp. I just killed a lot of Marines there. And already losing quite a bit of supply there. Ouch. Very ouch. Yeah, and, and I'm kind of of the opinion that I, I don't think he needed his Marine spawn yet, Artie. Because it, it gives that extra bounty, and that, that adds up a lot before your Marines get to the point. You know, look at your pumps. His Marines are almost as good, but, but he doesn't have the Marine spawn, so that extra bounty is not going to be with him. And there's, there's less of them for you know, him to feed off of. Once, and there goes some changelings in there. Uh, decent trade, not, not too great. It could have been better. The, uh, the Marines were actually changed. I thought they were four when you get the Marine spawn with the uh, epic upgrades. They used to be four bounty, but just with the, uh, the upgrade in the spawn, apparently it doesn't even give extra bounty. Anymore. Oh, it doesn't? It not anymore? No. See, that, that's no. how long it's been since I've played actively. <laughs> yeah, lots of changes. Um, in fact, sometimes I even have trouble keeping up with it. And, you know, some of the more, like, active players are, are really knowledgeable and... And they'll overshadow me in knowledge easily, but, you know, we'll try to keep up. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure every time there's updates, we, we have tons of people that just go in there and, you know, spend a lot Study of time it. camping it, you know? I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I do, but not as much as I should, I guess. I uh, suppose that, I need to if I'm going to be doing... Uh, that's a mastermind. Do. Doing a lot of damage to those immortals, and... Already losing a raven. Yeah, that, that was a little bit sloppy. Uh, he he didn't need to go over there. He there wasn't much he was saving. Uh, and now it looks like sexy and Bane. They have a large mass and they want to do something with it. But if you if you look at all of his links, they're getting stuck on the marauders, and some of them are stuck behind the marines. He he definitely needs to to fix that up a little bit. And that's that one hot key one a syndrome. That we talked about earlier. Sometimes it's not even a factor. One A, it's just I've seen it. I've seen players do it, and I've made this mistake sometimes too. I mean, it just happens. Is that sometimes when you try to do your micro, either it's lag or just poor control. But sometimes you walk your entire army in, and you miss about that half second or a second of attack. It makes a difference. Yeah, definitely. And I, I've noticed that a lot, especially when you go on the, for me, the Europe server. I go over there, and just that little bit sometimes can, can make what I'm trying to do look nothing like what actually happens. <laughs> I like their stutter steps over there. It's really nice. Yeah. And Mastermind has eight armor on those Desis, and it's making it a lot harder for those Lings that are still stuck at six attack upgrades to to do as much damage as he'd like to do. I, I wouldn't 490 mind him, hit points. Holy cow. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him add a little bit more attack to those cracklings, but it, it looks like from here on out, uh, Sexy just wants to go into Marines. He's getting uh, ranged Reavers with overcharge. <laughs> They're so strong. Ooh, Blinkin. He tried to get that Raven, and that just ended up feeding a ton to Mastermind. And bottom right might be in a little bit of trouble. He's kind of getting uh, beef from top right and from uh, from bottom left at the same time. Yeah, and, and if you look at Mastermind and Zeph, they're really starting as a team to pull away from everybody else. They're you know they're both steady at over twenty k, and they're keeping a decent sized army at all times and taking good engagements together. They're really putting a lot of pressure on Ice, as, as you can see. Ice has fallen. You know, not all the way behind. You know, he's not bottom of the scoreboard, but he's not near where he was earlier, and th and that's partially because you know Mastermind and Zeph are, you know, double teaming him every time, and Artie, you know, is trying to hold off both sides with him, and it's putting a lot of pressure on Ice. Looks like we got three Ravens coming out from bottom right, 
And if you notice in score, this is what typically doesn't happen from what I've observed. It's usually always cross spawn that ends up being high in points. But if you look top right is toe to toe with bottom right. And then top left is toe to toe with bottom left. And yeah. Sorry, I got uh, a little bit sidetracked with a whisper. <laughs> oh, a decent Hunter Seeker missile trade there. Uh, and there goes Vane again, pushing out by himself. But until Sexy gets over there, he's he's not going to win that battle. Looks like Sexy Saw is trying to fight for bottom right and you know I think the corruptor is a really good choice especially if he could start getting armor ooh he might oh, yeah he got some good corruptions guys. down too and glass is going to have to back off of that he he can't take on three corruptors with, with his marines there I'd like to see a little more uh, damage upgrade on sexy's marines but he hasn't really had the feed to do it oh my gosh those corruptors are going to do so much damage and he's got to back it up, back it up. Oh, no, he's not microing. But look, he tore through the mass. Oh, uh, okay. JPXP. That, that's a little bit too much. Yeah, and, and when you when you look at it, their army, Sexies and Glass, they, they lost about the same amount of army, but for every void that he lost, you know, he's, he's giving up way more bounty than those Zerglings and Marines are. Those are expendable at this point. You know, he can make that trade, you know, half of an army for half of an army all day long. A lot of engagements going on, on the bottom left hand side. And those cracklings are just going to push the immortals back, and the corruptors are going to keep the voids at, at bay. You can't really just push into the corruptors, and you're seeing he's, he's losing a lot of voids oh there gosh. unnecessarily. And Sexy Sauce could be getting a lot of feed from this, surprisingly. I mean, he, he's not that going up too high on money, there. but he is getting higher than Glass Cannon, so. And Glass Cannon losing, oh my gosh, a lot of voids. He's down to 300. And it's not even so much as a matter of points anymore. It's just, oh, and if, I if he can overwhelm the army, he's going to be able to overwhelm the base. See, and that was, that was Ice going for the Changelings onto Drapun's army, and Drapun just uses Overseer to contaminate Ice's Overseer, and you can see that the trade far favored Drapun's there. It's, uh, it's actually Gurpums. Oh, is it Gurpums? Yeah. Uh, okay. A lot of people say Gurpums, which is interesting, but yeah, I asked him, and he said it was uh, Gurpums, so... Yeah, we, we, sh we might should pause here. I'm seeing a lot of lag going on here. And while we're pausing, I'm going to go take a quick bathroom break. I'll be Sounds right back. Sounds good. In fact, if any of you guys at home need to just kind of chill out for a second, go for it. And really, uh, am I going to have to, like... I think I have to just... There we go. That should eliminate a lot of the whispers. I don't mind BM, which is cool, but if it gets to the point to where I can't see, uh, a little excessive.
You know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to use the restroom, too, and kind of want to put it on a screen where there's good vision. Let's, we'll put it on ices real quick, do a little player cam action, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, the first thing I noticed is Glass Cannon's Void Ray uh, count is very low. Did I, did I miss a big engagement on the Voids? All right, so we are back, and, uh, and there's action going on all across the map here. And it looks like Last Cannon, his voids are they're starting to to diminish in the returns. They're they're not really doing much anymore. He's having trouble getting a good mass, and that's partially because, like I said earlier, the Marines are getting better, and the voids, you know, as the Marines get better, they they can start taking engagements with the void rays head on. I wasn't paying attention to a word you said, but it, I'm sure it was good. <laughs> I, I, I was just talking about his voids and, and how, with, with the Marines getting better, they're they're starting to diminish in returns. He, at this point, I, I don't really know if he can change out and go to a different Merc, but he can't engage really any of the armies head on anymore. And look well, at unfortunately, him. Unfortunately, he's only got he's four attack. Away. Yeah, I mean he's he's got a. A few hit point upgrades in there. Uh, That's why he was going for a queen. And look, uh, he's, he's got just he's like three away, and now he can get it, and he should be uh, switching here to a queen fester. Yeah, I, I think he's going to wait until maybe they stabilize a little bit more at, at their base because with Bane in, in their face right now and sexy with the ch the chance to wrap around, he he, he might want to wait for them to mass up before they they go for the morph. But no, he's going for it now. And I think that's a bit risky, to be honest, at this moment. But we'll see. They, they do have the anti-unit tower. Both of them do. So they can force field a lot while that queen is morphing. A lot of scans going down. They want to know who's got that Queen Fester out. 
And look at him. He, I like what he's doing. You see uh, he's putting the void rays over the queen fester so they can't scan and see it as easily. Now, if you're looking at the mini-map, you can see the, the hero icon when you scan. But, but if they're not looking at the mini-map, it, it's, it'll be kind of tough to see that queen there, you know? Yeah, and a couple of secret missiles going down on Ice's units, almost killing them. It does do a little transfuse there. And Artie's really starting to pull ahead. Yeah, Artie, Artie has been trading really efficiently, and what, what do you think about uh, Mastermind's armor upgrades on his Desis? I mean, he's got a ton of hit point upgrades and a ton of armor, so, you know, a small amount of his Desis can can fight for quite a while. But, oh, he, he does get blinked on there, and he's going to lose almost all of his Desis right there. That's a good blink by Bane, but he needs to get out of there and, yeah, not engage those Stalkers, because he won't trade well against them. I mean, yeah, I think the, the armor upgrades are good. Um, maybe even throwing in some elites. Oh, and Ar Artie's going in there for the for the base kill on top right, and I, I think he's going to get that cyber core. Nice little heals there. Transfusing it, but it's going down. Oh, he doesn't have enough for a final transfuse. Right at the very tail end, he gets it. He lost a lot of units, though, trying to get it. And Glass Cannon's queen's going to be done in about five seconds, and I, I think they're going to push for mid and just try to hold it. And there it is, it's out. And he does have to be a little careful on it right now. I mean, he's got no armor on the queen, uh, really no upgrades on it, and those blink marines can kill it in an instant if he's not careful. Like Ice uh, reviving one of his ravens. And Ice is uh, not quite as far ahead as I think he would like to be. He's usually very comfortable with a lead. Um, doesn't quite have it yet, so I think he's just trying to do the uh, the easy thing and and just do some trades with energy, which is nice. Yeah, anytime you can trade energy for units, that's always nice. Uh, and then that's another important thing when you're playing Ravens. You know, anytime you engage, you want to engage with the maximum amount of energy on your Ravens. So you, so you have all your options. You know, whether you need to throw down a point defense drone to get the Ravens out of there, or whether you need to throw down a Hunter Seeker missile for massive amounts of damage. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> that queen down a half. If only he had a uh, contamination. No overseer, though. Yeah, what do you think about the overseer compared to the phoenix? Uh, situational, but I I like the the overseer. Because at this point, if if you look at it, you you have to buy the overseer. That's four fifty, and at this point, you really want to get both of the elite upgrades, and that's another thousand. So you can have a level two phoenix, which isn't very good at that point, but you can definitely build on it, and it can get feed for you as well, a lot more than I think an Overseer can. I mean, it depends on if the Over... Like, the Overseer brings different things to the table. Um, it is an expensive unit. It's actually 475. And... But what it can do is it gives you lots of speed. Now, does he need a, an Overseer because now he's got a Queen? No, not really. He could decide to... Well, I, Phoenix, but the Overseer offers a lot of mobility, and if you're talking about like versus units, the Phoenix, of course, is going to be better. Sometimes the the movement speed is is good, but yeah, I mean a Queen or a, a Phoenix is going to feed a little bit more. But the only problem with the Phoenix is that if someone else gets an Overseer, it can be corrupted uh, or not right. corrupted, contaminated, and it could be picked off. And, and a lot of teams have Overseers on the field right mm -hmm. now. Well, it's, what, three, three, four players have Overseers on the field right now? Yeah. So Phoenix uh, could be a little dangerous to get, actually. And I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing Sexy Sauce get an Overseer. With with his Zerglings and that creep spread, their mobility, you know, he, he can be around the map in an instant with that creep spread. They're so fast on that creep. 
my god, so much attacks going on right now. This is crazy. And decent Hunter Seeker missiles there. Uh, about the best you could hope for. You, you don't want to get too close to the Desis, you know, if they stem and get in there and they can get the Ravens real quick. But he's he's doing a lot of damage to Mastermind's army, so he's got to be careful engaging ice down there. And you know, if you, you look at the feet now, Sexy and Bane holding that mid for a little while now, they're they're starting to, to get their bounty up a little bit better, you know. They were a lot farther behind than they are now. Okay, so mouse not wanting to work. <laughs> Had to unplug it, plug it back in. But I think we're good. That's a, that's an interesting question. What 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 are your opinions on uh, peripherals for StarCraft 2? I use a wireless mouse, and or not a wireless mouse, a wireless keyboard, and it hasn't failed me yet, I mean, because I don't really micro that much, but I use a G500 uh, Logitech mouse, which it's done pretty good for me so far. I've, I have no real complaints, except yeah, that I, un, I mean, I disconnected it, I kicked it, but, uh, you know, it's, it's trusty. I've used it for two years, um... And I didn't, I mean, I've done a lot of clicks with it, and it's lasted, so it still looks brand new. Yeah, I, I have the Razor Death Adder at the moment, and uh, so the second one I had, the, the left click has gone out on one of my other ones in the past, but other than that, I, I just love the feel of the mouse. I have a kind of big hand, so it fits me really well, but back to the game, Artie's, I, I don't know about pushing into that choke knowing the queen is there, it's a little risky. actually getting ice as overseer that's interesting what is sexy sauce talking about I, I I don't know I don't know either this is a little strange I, I'm guessing maybe he, he was talking about uh when uh, ice ice was in the mid and uh, glass cannon came over there with his queen and just just kept uh, fungling his army when he was trying to engage ice. That's it's not the only thing I can think of. But ice is not leading the scoreboard right now. I mean, he's in second place and him and Artie are really starting to to pull ahead from Mastermind and Zeph, who were you know together. You know what? Ten minutes ago they were ahead in feed. Yeah, in terms of money he's actually in third um Zephyr's a little bit farther ahead but overall the team is doing really well they're in first um just for overall team value like bounty um mm -hmm. I still think that mastermind is a little bit scary with those crazy armor um destroyers but uh but why don't look at look at Isis upgrades at the moment on his immortals? He has seventeen attack on his immortals, but look Lots at his marine things. upgrades. He only has one marine attack damage upgrade, and what is that? One hero. So he could definitely be a lot more cost efficient with his upgrades for damage on those immortals. Because I think it's at uh, what ten upgrades. You start alternating uh, marine and. Hero upgrades for maximum damage on your mercs? I don't know what the precedent is, but uh, Ice, if you're listening, you're getting schooled. <laughs> <laughs> getting told, son. Nobody tells Ice what to do. <laughs> See, and I'll be looking for a new clan in the morning. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, isn't the isn't the point of LOL to troll anyway? Like just to Yeah. It yeah is. So you're 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 gonna be an officer shortly. <laughs> Everybody's an officer. That's even more trolling. Right? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize. That's that's kind of interesting because then everybody can either recruit or kick each other. It's kind of interesting. And decent splits there by Gerpums. Is that right? Did I say it right that time? Gerpums. Ger, ger. I have to remember that. Just think Austin Powers. Ger, baby! <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
so Glass, even, even with his clean out, he's still at the bottom of the scoreboard by a large margin, and he's he's doing decent damage with his queen, but... I don't think he even wants damage. He's just really trying to support your poems. Yeah. He knows his voids really aren't kicking it, and he's just hoping that with the queen there, the, uh, the immortals can do the damage they need to, and they're pretty strong mortals. Well... Could be stronger, I suppose. What do you think about glass? Maybe switching merch now to tanklings or something. Something that spawns a little bit faster, is a little bit beefier than the void rays, and it will just give a little bit more buffer to his queen right now. I think that might be a, a worthwhile merch switch for him. Um, tanklings aren't really that strong anymore, but uh, temples couldn't wouldn't be too bad. I think what he's doing right now with the queen is fine. You know, I like it. As long as he can hold on to the queen. You know. And do you think at this point maybe he he should start sending all of his money to Gurpums? Oh. I don't know. I In high level play, usually there's not a whole lot of pooling. So. Because, I mean, he's, he's so far behind. I don't think his units are ever going to catch up even with the queen. And I mean, Gurpums is right up there in the mix with with everything else, so... I don't know, just, just, just a little thing to think about. At this point, I mean... I don't even... I don't even know what to do. I'm just sitting back and watching just these masters go at it. I mean, these and are what? the top seeds, really, right here. Just duking it out, and they're... They're playing their brains out. I mean, the APM is very high. Uh, surprisingly, Bane... It, <laughs> His current APM is in the thousands right now, which obviously it's time scaled, but that's still <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. And he's keeping it constant. What? Yeah. How is that even possible? What is he clicking on? I've got to see what the the camera tab is. Sure <laughs> enough, he's just clicking away. How is it up that high? Ice's APM is very high, and you know. In my experience, usually higher APM means a little bit more map awareness, a little bit more control. Uh, yeah. Oh, and he might lose his queen here if he's not careful. But if, if you look at uh, Artie's Marines, he doesn't have Blink. He doesn't, I mean, he does have range, and uh, he went for uh, the weapon speed upgrade on his Marines. And with a queen out, I almost think Blink is a better better choice there, or even Untouchable. Untouchable scales super well with hit points. And, I don't know, Rapid Fire's yeah, not it's bad, it's just maybe an Overseer would uh, would help. I mean, Ice has an Overseer, but maybe an Overseer for Artie, too. Yeah. I don't yeah. really know. Because, I mean, he had the queen, the queen was there all alone, and he just couldn't get up to it quick enough to, to finish it off. And I really wish his name was spelled correctly. <laughs> it would just be... Oh. Because <laughs> I imagine... Okay, like... There's kind of a Batman-ish theme. Um, that's kind of like with... It's like Benoit and Rainer kind of deal. So with Bane coming in, it's... It's just kind of yeah. funny. Queen goes down. Oh, the queen does go down. He went for that Overseer, and he got the Overseer, but at the cost of his Queen... He's going to start getting behind. Artie is almost double right now. Glass oh, and look at those Hunter Seeker missiles over there on Zeph's army. A lot of it just completely melted away. And I like the points to fence drones there. It gives you the option of either taking the fight or backing off. And there goes another Raven down. He almost lost lost a second one too. Was, I think it was a misclick there. He went forward when he meant to go back. And Sexy's gonna punish those those immortals for pushing that far out on the map, and I think that's the right choice. He's just gotta watch out for those void rays. If Bane was a little bit faster getting over there, they they probably could have dealt some significant damage to bottom left's army. And they're st look, they're still going to. In all honesty, those voids really aren't too much of a threat. Um, I mean, they do some damage for sure, but uh, 
Yeah, they they just kind of anytime the Zerglings go out in front, they they have to back up and wait wait for the Marines or the Marauders to get over there and help. It's too bad Sexy Sauce doesn't have those three corruptors anymore. Yeah, they they would be really nice right now. So strong. And top right and bottom right are just duking it out over and over and oh over. Gosh. It is just attack after attack after attack. These oh, guys are relentless. The hunter seeker. Decent hunter seeker missile there. Top right is losing supply though. Yeah, well if if you look at look at the feed now, Zeph is still a little bit ahead of ice, but Artie is way ahead of everybody else right now. I mean he's almost ten K ahead of everybody. Twelve armor marines. GG. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I'm curious to see what uh what Mastermind's marine armor would be if, if he actually started making some marines, but he's he's Prudesi right now. And he's got a ton of hit points. Looks like Bane getting one of the Ravens. That's a nice little pickoff, and oh Sexy did a little miss micro there. He, I think he wanted all the links to go toward the Immortals in bottom left, but uh, some of them were too close to Artie's units on the right, and he just attack moved, and they all went over to, to Artie's side. Wow, Zephyril uh, buying a Raven, and then it, poof, just died. <laughs> so many Seeker missiles, so much... There's so much action right now. Oh my gosh. Like one thing I'm noticing is I feel like top left could go in and and possibly do like some kind of all in play to top right cuz they're losing so much supply to uh to bottom right right now. Yeah, and I, I think if they do that, it, it would be they need to take control of their tower up there first because the zerglings can push from that tower once they have control. And then that'll really keep uh mastermind a, a little more cautious about, you know, fighting down there against Ice and Artie without that uh, tower control. And I almost think it, think at this point, you know, Sexy could try to burrow some links in a, in a few more spots, you know. The, the whole, his side of the map, there aren't really any scans going down over there. And uh, I've just given him a, a little more vision. Yeah, you know? that's a good point. I think you should always keep up your link burrow. And, yeah... That's a really good point. I mean, that's one of the advantages to having Ling. Maybe yeah. switching from Crackling at some point. I mean, just to maybe more tankier units. I mean, they're, they're going to do great against the Immortals, sure, and, and the Lancers, but I almost feel like maybe eventually going to Temples would be an, yeah, an interesting choice. I don't know. I'm really not sure. Especially once you get a lot of hit point upgrades, temples scale really, really well with the the hit point upgrades. And oh, fights going on everywhere still. Queen tore into Sexy Sauce's army. And if you look at Glass Cannon now, he's his voids aren't really doing much except taking that tower. He takes the tower and then he backs off because he knows at this point that they're just feed. Anytime he moves them out on the map, any of the teams can come around and just melt all the Void Rays at this point. Hey, I'm glad he took the tower. You know. Yeah. Ooh, Seeker Missile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Raven so for Raven trade trades. there. Bane is, is really going crazy, but uh, just Artie is just 43,000, like, seriously? Wow, so strong. The one thing I've noticed is about Ar Artie is his army size is always decent. He's making good trades, and that that allows him to, to engage more often, and that's I think that's the main reason his, his feet is staying up. He's taking good engagements, and he's keeping his army size up where everybody else isn't. Like he's he's got a handful of marines and stalkers there, and he's just melting through everything down there at the bottom mid. Artie's marines are up to thirteen armor now. I 
You know, I think at this point, I, I don't. Can you can you switch your minor upgrade on Marines from uh, yeah. health to armor? Oh, the minor upgrades? No, yeah. only the epic upgrade. Because if you look at his build now, I, I think that armor upgrade would be a lot more cost efficient than his health upgrade. He has 219 hit points, but he's got 13 armor. That would scale up to what? Almost 16 armor? 17 armor? 16 and a half, I think. I mean, maybe. In the end, though, hit points are just better to have overall. Um, yeah, they definitely help the, the rest of your ar army a lot better, I think. I think maybe Blink could be interesting, though. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the first time I came back and uh, the updates were changed... I, I, I kept thinking I, I had Untouchable and uh, Rapid Fire. And the whole time I only had Rapid Fire. <laughs> oh, were you switching? Like yeah. you were buying the Switch? Yeah, I was buying oh. the... I, the first time I bought the Switch, I just assumed that I had both of them. And I was like, oh, cool. They, they lowered the price of uh, the upgrades because, you know, it's only 500 nope. to Switch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like four fifty now. Oh, is like it four fifty? Like yeah, it's half of nine hundred. And in all honesty, the the switch should be free. If you're spending eighteen hundred to, yeah. to switch, it needs to be free at that point. Like, wow, eighteen hundred plus an extra four fifty if you want to switch back again. Like, you're already spending nine hundred to switch once. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. And I want Taldarim not mind control. <laughs> <laughs> did that come into play last game? I, did, I didn't see the finish. I saw the Taldarim go down uh, so to good. Blue Sky. You missed the epic ending. Go yeah, watch I, it. It's on I YouTube. I had to go eat dinner. I'll, I'll definitely catch, catch the last 10 or 20 minutes of it. Actually, it's not on YouTube. I haven't, uh, I haven't made the highlight yet because I've just been streaming all day. So... And Zeph uh, up there in the top right is trading really efficiently against Bane's army, and Sexy's going to have to go over there and help him if you know he, he's going to engage on that cliff. Okay. Well, See, and there's those peripherals we were talking about, the wireless mouse. Yep. <laughs> And while we're paused here, out of all the tournament matches I've seen so far, up to, to you know an hour and a half point, I I really think this is one of the more even ones we've seen. You know, uh, Artie is pulling pretty far ahead of everybody else, but the rest of the teams are pretty fairly even, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, with the exception of Artie, just tearing into things it's just what uh, what I tend to see late game is like it's it's such a shame that like <clears throat> early game you can kind of overwhelm with just like a couple thousand but late game you have to get like seriously 50,000 extra from everyone else just so you can be comfortable enough to go in and finish an army none of these guys want to finish each other they don't want to be finished themselves yeah, because you have to dedicate such such a large portion of your army to take mm. somebody out, and you'll get backstabbed, you know? These players at this level are smart enough to know, hey, if he's killing off somebody else, I'm going to go kill off him. And it's it's really funny when you get in a chain reaction game where, you know, one team goes for the kill first, and then another team goes for their kill, and then the other team goes for that other team's base, and it's those are really fun to watch. Yeah, Ice calls it like the... I think Ice was saying it. It was like the frustration. Like, eventually, an army will get like a person will get frustrated. He'll go, "Fuck it," and just try to go in and and yeah. take everything out. Like maybe Sexy Sauce is doing that right here. <laughs> yeah, but those force fields are. I mean, he can't engage in so there. He's, he's gonna lose everything. He's losing everything. Sexy. 
Still no Medi Babe. This would have been so good early. Yeah. Saying that it was lag. Come on, it's not lag. But but when you look into games going this long, I mean, it takes a lot of stamina to to keep your cool the entire game. You know, if you know one or two bad engagements, and it it can really set some players off. You know, there's tons of players I played with, and all all you had to do was you know get into their mind a little bit. You know, beat their armies down a couple of times in a row where they just feel like they didn't have a chance, and yeah. they'll go all in on you. Maybe have an SD change to where you get like 500 every minute mid, because this is crazy. Yeah, I, I could see this game still going on for a very, very long time. No. Oh, the Hunter Seeker missiles. Oh. Doing decent damage, but the Blink Micro was okay by Artie. He minimized the damage that he could have taken there with everything clumped up. There's like... Wait a minute... There's like overseer balls floating in the air. They just have disappeared. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? Like, did you guys like? You guys are gonna see me zoom in on that. That was totally the overseer's like ovaries or balls. What? What was that? <laughs> that was crazy. Or is it his eyes? I mean, what? That was just trippy. No, it wasn't the eyes. That's a good question. Are, are overseers male or female? They drop changelings, which would lead you to believe they're female, but if they have the, the balls that you say they have, maybe they're not. It totally looked like it, or... I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's you know, inappropriate or you, you, whatever. I don't care. Like, it totally looked like balls. I mean... <laughs> I, you guys will see it. Oops. Actually, dropping the keyboard. Punched all sorts of keys. Oh, no, it's stuck. Okay. No. See, I, I didn't actually see the the, no. the testicles that you were talking about, <laughs> so so I can't confirm whether it's just your over amount of casting for the day or whether they're actually no, there. No, it's I'll, I'll like, you'll see to, it. I have to check the YouTube video and they will see confirm it. there. <laughs> At an uh, hour and, I don't know what it was, an hour and 41, you're going to see some... Uh, overseer balls or over is either ovaries or it totally looked like it, it kind of looked like ovaries um, but it was upside down so it looked like it looked like a pair of balls <laughs> so you, <laughs> you guys will see and I almost think it would be interesting for for some of the players maybe See, as you can see, already now switched over to Templots, and that's what I was just about to mention. Somebody switching over to a tankier unit. Uh, with, all, with all the upgrades now, those Templots, I think, are going to trade really well, depending on the Blink Micro of Zeph up there. Well, the, Z the 17 attack isn't really going to do squat, I don't feel, but if he gets a lot of armor... He does have 16 and a half armor on him right now. And uh, you could get more if he had like seventeen armor upgrades, that would be epic. Which yeah, he doesn't, <laughs> but you know, eight is good. But what's interesting is the hit point upgrades. That's going to be helpful. Ooh, Archon. Okay. Hmm. Who's Archon? Is that? Is that? That's Bane's Archon. That's Bane's. Okay, yeah, he did have that uh, Tassadar earlier. Interesting. Yeah, and I I was kind of wondering where their, where their upgrades were, were going on because they'd kind of been sitting for a while in the same upgrades and you can see it, it went into pulling for the Archon. And, and we'll see how that, that goes out. It it can definitely be very effective against the Queen Fester. And the Queen Fester's going to go... Oh, oh, nice Burrow. Oh, Burrow at the last second. And Artie might be in a lot of trouble. In fact, Mastermind is pushing in... Yeah, I, I was just holding him off for the moment. Um, but if Zeph had went there with him, I think they could have dealt a lot of damage to the bottom right. Well, I still did as a fairly decent mass. Holding his own 20 attack. Oh my gosh, 520 hit points. And now Bane blinks forward in mid, and he's going to take down all those stalkers, but at the cost of what? He's getting sandwiched here. But, but he he got out of it pretty nicely. He saved a decent chunk of his army, and he should probably just go home now. Go home, Bane. 
<laughs> but he's going to stay in mid and just kind of kind of pick away at them when they're fighting each other, and it seems to be working for him. He's feeding pretty decently right now. But it looks like Artie said that's enough of that. Get out of get out of mid. You're not welcome to just stay there and you know take all my feet. People in chat laughing at the. It was totally overseer balls. Like, <laughs> I'm just I'm telling you. Like, just take my word for it, Tim. It's <laughs> this is totally overseer balls. In fact, I can't wait for the overseer to die. Please die so I can show you, you guys again. Oh, it's not. It's not there. It was. It must have been a glitch. No, look, look the balls. They're on the floor. <laughs> look like the balls. There's one cool ball song. right there and one right there. They totally disintegrated. But see now, Bane has has the Archon up and they're taking mid. And I don't think any team really can challenge mid right now. And I think if they do, they're they're just going to lose more than it's worth to go for it. <sighs> Honey Badger, where? Is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's already Honey Badger. Uh, he really needs to go on the hero armor upgrades now on the Honey Badger. See, he, he could, with what, five or six upgrades, he could have that up to almost 30, 30 armor on the the Honey Badger. Well, it's still level zero. It'll definitely rise. It's level four. Soon. Oh, he just upgraded to level four. It's and up there to we 22 go. and a half now. A lot of hit points now. And the, really the only thing he has to worry about now is, is going to be an Overseer. Uh, if they can keep the Overseers uh, stunning each other, then the Honey Badger is going to do a lot of damage. But if not, and it looks like top right might be in a little bit of trouble here. I, I think Artie should wait and let Bane do what they're going to do and then, then push in afterwards. Oh, he went for the Archon. And I think Sexy Sauce oh. is going to be okay. Look at that honey badger, it's gone. It just melted away to Bane's army. And he, he charged forward into the army, which I, I prefer keep keeping the uh, the charge on the honey badger to, to escape with. I don't ever like attacking with it. I don't know, the 22 armor wasn't really enough. Even 30 armor... I don't know. I mean, it. I could armor cap the Marines, but these Mercs are strong. And he he lost them to thirteen attack uh, Marauders. I mean, yeah, they, he does have nineteen attack Marines, but it was the Marauders that did the majority of the damage to those to that uh, Honey Badger. So strong. Everything is so strong right now. And he rebuilt the Honey Badger. He's up to level five now. Sexy sauce is so mad. <laughs> nice glass. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Lots of BM. Another Archon? What? Oh my gosh. So let's just take an inventory. Right now, excuse me, I'm eating dinner. I'm just too hungry. <laughs> we have two Harkons, a queen, a honey badger, tons of overseers, balls everywhere, and ravens. Like, this is nuts. There's, this is crazy late game. It's like everybody has a little bit of everything. And, and already spending a little bit of extra cash so that, uh, you know, Artie can change into uh, to the Blink Marines. He already had the uh, Did he, he the lose attack. that Honey Badger again? Did I miss that? Because I don't see it anywhere in the field right now. I guess he did. Oh, no, there it is. There. there it is. Okay, I see it now. And I just does lose another Raven there. It's a nice contaminate by Gurpums. I feel like Ice must be lagging. Because... You, you just typically don't see Ice lose a lot of these units. And as you can see, uh, Gurpoms has decided to go into Templots as well at this stage of the game. They're starting to realize that 
The Immortals late game, I I don't feel like they trade well against Marines or any of the Mercs that are out on the field anymore. I think bottom left might be in some trouble here. I, I think with the Queen, they, they might be all right for a minute. They, they really need uh, top left to, to flank right now. That's what they they should really be hoping on. And look at those Void Rays. It's almost all melted to that honey badger. That queen the is top, so low. Top left is just not taking advantage right now. I, I think they could definitely come in and flank and maybe steal the kills on, on bottom left right now. Oh my god, there's but so much action going on. Bottom left, top right. Oh my gosh. And then there they go. There Sexy goes, but <sighs> he needs to go straight into the base. And he's going to do it now. And he should be able to at least get a snipe on the Void Compound. And he he might there get a command center out of this, too. Oh, my God. Blink into it. Go. Yeah, he's going to... Uh, nice force fields, but that command center's gone. And... Oh, uh, I want to say it. So, Ice was kind of... Or, not Ice. Uh, Glass Cannon was kind of cocky against Raynor. Yeah. And Raynor just came in and finished. <laughs> Oh man! And they're gonna fight over this CC, and uh, I think Ice will be able to take it. Reader yeah. should probably just attack the portals instead of. Yeah, Bane had enough enough time to come over there and try to contend for it, but we have our first elimination almost two hours into the match. <laughs> Did Sexy Sauce get that final kill on the planetary? No way. I wow. guess he did. I, I, I didn't. I didn't quite think he got it, but I, I guess he did. He's he's saying he got it. So now with bottom left and the queen gone, I, I think it's really going to start favoring bottom right a lot. I think they're going to be able to put a, a lot of pressure on top right, and that's what they want to do because right now, if you look at the feed, top left isn't near is scary to them. Honey Badger is down. But with that Archon, he's dealing massive amounts of damage to, to the army down there, but... Well, at the very least, they're going to be able to hold middle now. Yeah, they, they should be able to hold middle without without too many problems. He is remaking that Honey Badger for the, what is this, fourth time? Third time? I have no idea because I'm eating an Oreo. <laughs> hey, Oreos are pretty amazing, so I can understand that. But you, you have to have milk with Oreos. You can't just fly solo with just the Oreos. It doesn't quite work as well. No, that's disgusting. Oh. I'm going all in. No milk. <laughs> oh. So we have two Archons and a Honey Badger on the field right now. A bunch of Overseers. Uh, I think Ice is the only one. Ice and Artie are the only ones with Ravens still on the field. And as I say that, Ice is going to lose another Raven. And that's a big blink by Bane. They're going to take mid here. And there's a lot of action going on. Everybody's fighting everybody right now for, for Battle of Mid. And I, I think top left is going to get the better out of this. Well, they're definitely holding, and there's no overseer to kind of trap this honey badger. I mean, there's an archon, yeah. but oh, an overseer would be so good. And what? Yeah, Artie actually staying? Rainer blinking in. Nice little heal there. Now, Ice loses another raven. It's <laughs> just after remaking it. Oh. Looks like Sexy saw some little bit of a late reaction. Took a little bit of storm. His cracks are at 14 attack. It's very strong. And you know what? The Archon's out. The temples are not 
super special. And yeah, because you can you can melt their shield, shield and the shield is is the, the important part of the the Templots. Once that shield's gone, they're no better than you know any other merc. Actually, a little worse, but. goes the Archon. And there goes the Honey Badger. He's just gonna clean up that army. You gotta get out of there. Stim, buddy, stim! Power of the Overseer. He's gotta get one. Yeah, they... I, I've been thinking they should should have had a... You know, we talked about them maybe getting a, a Phoenix or an Overseer, and I think we kind of decided Overseer was the better choice, and, you know, there's no reason that Sexy couldn't buy an Overseer right now. I mean, he's got the money. He can at least get the first elite upgrade and not too much longer after that get the next one and that, that would just keep the honey badger kind of at bay for a little while he's going to armor cap these marines in a, in a little bit yeah already does have 20 armor on his marines right now which is pretty sick oh, 17 and a half excuse me I thought I saw somebody with 20 armor on Marines, man. I'm crazy. Our and I really like so to much see, life. Oh my gosh. I would have liked to have seen a point defense drone there instead of the Hunter Seekers. Because then the Honey Badger can just go to town. 35 armor. There's really nothing that Top Left can do against it. It's starting to yeah. armor cap it. And I think this might be the point where they, they might just have to get a Phoenix. Or something that can just neutralize a little better because an Overseer, they're not going to kill it anyway. So maybe maybe even a mini mothership and just vortex it and try to fight the army at the same time? Maybe. I just know that top left is going to be kind of crap in their pants a little bit because they don't really know what to do. That uh, the honey badger is so strong. Yeah, they're they're remaking their archon again, which is definitely going to help. But he's going in there by himself with the honey badger, and you can't mind control the honey badger, so storms aren't going to do anything to him. And the archon's pretty useless when he just goes in there with the honey badger, and your army can't kill the honey badger. And it looks like uh, Sexy's going for a little wraparound. He's going to try to get uh, Artie's Merc compound, maybe? No, he it looks like he just wanted the tower for a minute. I, I thought he was going to go for the Merc compound down there, but he's just giving away some freelings right now. Oh, my God. This game is killing me. Two hours. So strong. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. You're gonna be it's, so hoarse tomorrow. It, it's been nonstop. I'm hoarse right now. Uh, my voice is taking. Uh. And everybody's kind of pushing on top right right now, but I don't really see anybody being able to completely take them out with with their anti-unit towers and force fields and an archon. You you just can't really engage into that. You know what we are seeing? Bottom right is finally going into the base of top left. Yeah. And they, they should really get an anti-unit tower. I mean an anti-hero tower, excuse me. <laughs> he's just Yamato. Wow. He's, he's pretty much armor capping. I mean, he's close. Not quite yet, yeah. but 38 armor. Run! And really, the only thing doing that much damage... What? Why didn't he charge out? And another very interesting huh. thing to note is top left still has command centers. They don't even have planetary fortress. And against that honey badger, just the extra damage on the planetary fortress to the heroes would have helped a lot on that honey badger. Maybe. But, but I feel like maybe, you know, if top right really wanted to, 
they might be able to get vision on the right side and run in and snipe those command centers because at this point a command center is just going to melt away to even a small bit of anybody's units. You said right side, did you mean left? You mean top left? The top top left, yes, with the command centers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was saying I, I think top right could, could possibly pick it off with a, a small group of blink greens and maybe some stalkers get their tower vision and you know kind of wait for them to push for middle and just go for a quick snipe I, <laughs> I think it could work Kraviton. and yeah that honey badger is just not gonna die no it's so strong 38 armor now it's starting to get damaged yeah once the guardian shield runs runs off he, he will start taking a little bit more damage but just imagine if if he'd sent some units with that honey badger then what would have happened? Just imagine if he had like three more armor upgrades on that honey badger. <laughs> I'll remember the, the the first time I ever faced a honey badger, and I was I didn't even know how far behind I was. It was probably within my first few weeks of playing Marine Arena, and uh, I, I literally watched the honey badger sit in my base, and I attacked him with full supply army, and he was gaining hit points against me. <laughs> Have you been around recently to see Tamil Tiger in his? Uh... Uh, I, I knew him as a player before, but I, I I don't know what you're particularly getting at here now. Okay, there's a player <clears throat> named Tamil Tiger, and uh, he he strictly plays Honey Badger opening, like like no upgrades, nothing on anything but the Honey Badger, and. Uh, so like he's he's kind of known for his honey badger plays, so that's why I was calling uh, Artie Artie Tiger. Ah, uh, I see. That's great. <laughs> that made, now that made me think of Tony the Tiger. They're great. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, nostalgia. Oh, and lots of storms going down there, but he might lose. Yeah, he's going to lose this Archon here. And I think this might be the point where they got you send that honey badger over there to top left with just a small amount of units, and I, I think they would finish it. Please finish. Please. But they, they do have to be careful about sending too many units because top right can still come in and, you know, do that base trade that we were no. talking about. No, never. No. Just, no. Well, there goes the honey badger again, and he's bringing a lot more units than I think he needed to do this. And he's, he should be focusing the towers right now. That's Where's the only the thing shield? keeping his honey tower, or honey badger, honey from tower. just wrecking everything. Get the That'd honey be a great tower. Event, right? A little honey tower sitting up there, a honey badger. He needs a 20k honey center, hit points tower. Where's the honey center? The honey center. Or the honey fortress, that's what it'd be called. <laughs> Where's the honey fortress? wiped right out. That went down very quick. And if you look at that honey badger, he's not losing any health at all. He's armor cap. Top left. And top left is gone. Oh my Those gosh, Templots sure. just just took it down without any problem at all. It's that command centers, you know, at two hours into the game, you just can't do that at this level. 41 armor on the honey badger. Look, are you kidding me? It's so strong. And I think at this point, it's... Ice and Artie are just going to win right here. And I think after all this, this is going to be the end of the game. It's the end of the series? Sweet. So your winners of... <laughs> uh, but your winners for the game, for sure. There we go. It's going to be uh, Ice and Artie after two hours... Four minutes in game time, almost two hours in real time. Wow, that's crazy! And victory. It's gonna be LOL's ice and LOL. I raped your dad. Uh, Tim, thank you for for joining oh. us and uh, kind of just re-experiencing uh, your marine right now. You're very welcome, and uh, hopefully, I didn't butcher too many things here. Uh, like I said, I'm still relearning the game a bit myself, and but it, I, I did have a good time watching and casting this game. It was a little longer than. I'd hope for, but I guess that's what happens when you get into this high-level marine arena. Oh, for sure. 
All right, well, uh, thank you all for joining, and we are going to have another matchup. We're going to go to game two. It's like 9 o'clock at night. Oh, uh, we still have another game tonight? We still have two. I mean, there's if Ice and Artie win the next round, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, but that's only if they win. Otherwise, we have two more games coming. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll be back.